Hello everyone and let's check out another exciting chess game by Jose Rol Capablanca, the legendary world chess champion. And this game was played in 1901 in Havana, Cuba, and his opponent is Manuel Sterling. Let's check out this interesting chess game. Capablanca, who has the white pieces, starts the game with playing e4, e6, and we are going for the French defense. Exchange variation. Of course, Capablanca likes to exchange. He likes to exchange the pawns, the pieces, and go for the end game. Knight to f3. They usually say that the exchange variation of the French defense is one of the most boring lines in chess. But when there is Capablanca on the chessboard, it is never going to be boring. So, developing the knights. And bishop to d3, bishop to d6. Mirroring, Capablanca's moves, copycatting, cancelling, developing the knights. Again, copycatting the moves of Capablanca, bishop to g5, bishop to g4. And Capablanca captured the knight, and this time, Black stopped copycatting Capablanca. He captured the bishop with the queen, and there is pressure on the knight. And this time, Capablanca captured the pawn, knight takes on d5. Defending the queen, and black is threatening to capture the knight, and then checkmating the king. But this is never going to work on Capablanca, maybe only against chess Petzer. So Capablanca is attacking the bishop and defending. Bishop takes on f3, queen takes on f3, and black captured the pawn, knight takes on d4. And getting back to material, attacking the knight, knight to e6, knight to e3. Lining the rook with the queen, but attacking the queen and defending the queen, queen to h5. We have rook from a to e1. And after rook from a to e1, black played, queen to g6. Well, discover attacking the queen is not working. Because of why? Because of capturing the rook. White can capture the rook, and if capturing back, then here comes rook to son checking the kick, only defense. And what now? Of course, checking the king with the knight. The bishop is pinned. So moving the king, only move. And then, rook takes on f8. Checkmate. Black is getting checkmated. There is no defense. After queen takes rook, knight takes on d3. Is not working because of queen to b5. And black can't capture back the exchange. Not getting back the exchange, because if capturing the rook, then knight to e7, check, and after capturing the knight, then queen takes on h5, and black is losing, there is no defense. Black is losing the queen, if capturing the rook, let's take it back. So this is actually a cozy position for Capablanca. We have rook from a to e1, and queen to g6. What would you do in this position? There is a very simple move. Well, Capablanca played queen to h4, and black is in trouble. Black has to be careful, threatening discover attacks to the queen, with checking the king, and also winning the queen. And if defending the queen, this time, black is getting checkmated. So black, in this position, didn't want to get checkmated. He pushed the pawn. Well, in this position, if something like knight to f4, then knight to e7, checking. Bishop takes on e7, and queen takes on e4, and white is better. And if defending the queen, then knight to e7, checking the king. Black has to capture back or move the king. Either way, black is getting checkmated. Queen takes on h7, checkmate. Obviously, black's best chance was moving the knight. Knight to f4 was the best move for black. But it is not very easy to see. When you are playing the chess game, when you are under pressure, so chess is also a psychological game. After queen to h4, we have h6, and this is losing the queen. But Capablanca didn't check the kick. He captured the bishop. Knight takes on d6, and we have c takes on d6. If defending the queen, then exchanging everything, and then knight takes on e8, rook takes on e8. And white has the rook. White is a rook up. And this material loss is brutal for black. Let's take it back. 
After knight takes on d6, we have c takes on d6, and then bishop takes on d6, f takes on g6, not resigning, black is being stubborn, pinning the knight, rook to f6, and rook takes on e6, rook from f takes on e6, and pinning the rook, king to f7, f4, unpinning, checking the king, king to f7, queen to d5, pinning the rook, once again, king to f6, and Capablanca captured the rook, rook takes on e6, checking the king, rook takes on e6, and capturing the pawn, rook to e7, queen to d5, g5, capturing the pawn, and attacking the king, checking the king, blocking with the rook, and what would you do in this position? Well, of course, queen to f8, checking the king, with queen to f8, and where is the king going? Black resigned, of course, finally, only now, black resigned. There is no defense. The possible continuation, the only move, king to g6, and then here comes this nasty four kick, f5, four king to rook, and the kick, moving the kick, and then capturing the rook. And I think it is unnecessary to say that this is losing for black. Another instructive chess game by Jose Rol Capablanca. And thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Take care, and bye-bye.